Okay, so uh, my name is Kai, and for unfortunately, my partner Francis wasn't here to present with me, so I'm going to try and do my best to represent her part in the script. Um, so, yes. Uh, this arc, uh, uh, Francis and I decided to make a documentary on immigration with uh, Brightworks' parents' stories on how and what it was like coming to the U.S. and some insight on today's controversy. For me, the election was the main source of motivation for this project. Uh, I felt like people need to be educated on the topic so they can uh, have a better understanding of what was going on um, and how they could support those uh, who are being affected by the hardships of immigration. Uh, the Harvest of Empire is really what started me on the idea of doing what I do this project. The Harvest of Empire is a history book about the early days of America and who came here and how they impacted America today. That sparked my interest in immigration. As the beginning of the project phase, Philip assigned us all research papers relating to our project topics. An important component of our project was research. In order to um, educate people on immigration, <laughs> they know what we're talking about. Uh, so I, so it was basically a perfect step to our project. So, um, so we can include some of the info that we learned while doing the research paper into our documentary. I wrote my research paper on Donald Trump and his plans and the steps to immigrate and some stories from real life immigrants. Uh, this is basically what we made our documentary about. My paper was a uh, thousand and five hundred. So uh, at first, I thought uh, we thought that I would do most of the writing for the project, aka the script, and Francis would do most of the editing. But it t kind of turned out to be uh, a little bit of the opposite. We did we kind of balanced out both of the uh, components so we could both have our input on them. But towards the middle of the editing process, we decided to split up the editing. Uh, Francis had to submit a short film to Soda, uh, her high school that she's applying to. So Fran needed to make a, a shorter version of her film. And I I wanted to make a longer version to include a lot of, because I wanted to include most of like what was in our documentary, and she wanted to make a short and sweet version. Uh, uh, we each had a vision for our film. So we used storyboarding to explain our ideas and, ideas and uh, figure out the structure. For our intro, we would explain the process of immigrating, uh, sorry, the process of getting a visa, as well as the misconceptions immigrants face and why people turn to uh, uh, immigrating illegally. The body of our film would consist of uh, interviews from the Brightworks community and our conclusion would have us explaining the immigration debate. So after we got our declarations approved, uh, the first week of our project work time was mostly finding interviews to interview from the Brightworks parent community. Um, uh, we sent out emails uh, to all the Brightworks parents asking if they were immigrants and were willing to be interviewed for a film. Philip and I made a sign-up sheet using a website called You Can Book Me. This is the sign-up sheet, and it's like basically where you click a date and then you put in your name and it sends us an email that you want to come in on that time. Um, in a matter of days, we got uh, many replies and five people who signed up. This was interesting because I never really reached out to so many people that I was unfamiliar with before. And I had never really coordinate, coordinated with someone that I didn't know at all before. So this was new and a scary experience. Uh, this week we also worked on our film slash outline script. Uh, this script was for the intro of our film, which we would explain the process of immigration and the different types of visas. We also um, made our interview questions to ask on filming day. Uh, the questions we asked were about a person's experience with immigrating here and their opinion on the bans that were set in place, and Donald Trump uh, that was set in place, and their opinion on Donald Trump and his plans concerning immigration. Uh, the next week, we kept writing our script and started to edit it. This here is our script, uh, the screenshot of our script. Um, this, we included some of uh, the stuff that was in our research paper to put in the script, and we kind of just edited it to make it sound a little more <coughs> conversational instead of research paper ish. Uh, so, this, is, this week was also when we got the majority of our interviews, uh, so it was a very busy week. Uh, we also got our filming equipment, inclu including a uh, tripod and a lavalier mic, which is a small mic that you clip on your shirt collar to get better sound from the person who's talking. 
you might see in some of our clips if you watch your film. Um, so uh, we also, so this is one person that we interviewed uh, from uh, in the morning. Most of our interviews were in the morning, so um, we had to get to school a little bit earlier than we usually would. So then we started to upload our uh, stuff to iMovie. Uh, so we were just basically lining up the sound that we got from the lavalier mic to our media that we got. Uh, that was a little hard because uh, sometimes our camera would just cut out and stop filming, and so but the recording kept going, and so having to like find where it stopped and then where it began, it was it's kind of complicated. Um, for the third week of our project, uh, it was really just an editing week because this was like the last the last couple of like, uh, weeks that we had to edit. So we, um, although had um, some unexpected adventures. For instance, uh, over the weekend, multiple protests were held against the Muslim ban uh, at the SFO airport. Um, so on Monday, Francis and I uh, went on an uh, unexpected filming adventure to SFO. We filmed around and uh, interviewed a couple of people who were there protesting and uh, some Lars. Um, in case you don't know, the Muslim ban is uh, put into place by Donald Trump, uh, making it so that anyone coming from uh, Iran, Iraq, uh, Sudan, Syria, and Yemen, uh, uh, Muslim cultures were banned from entering. This also put a halt to the Syrian refugee program. This ban was signed and put into place on the 27th of January, before it was overturned. In case you still need a reason to protest this ban, here in America, religious freedom is clearly stated in the Bill of Rights. We also had another interview that week, where, um, and we recorded our script uh, using just our lovely mic. After that, we uh, downloaded Premiere Pro, which is a more profession pro professional and complicated <coughs> editing software. We decided to use this instead of iMovie because it had more options, and we wanted to push ourselves to learn something new. So we started editing on that, which was hard at first, but it got easier as we learned more about it. But the final week of our project was one of the most stressful weeks of the year. It was crunch time, and I said we still had so much to do. We basically we were just editing our film on Premiere Pro. Uh, so uh, this was also the week that we split up. So I was working on the longer version, and Francis was working on our shorter version. Uh, this was easier and harder um, because we didn't always, because we didn't have to share a computer, and, but also it was kind of like we, uh, we couldn't share input on both of our uh, films, so that was uh, concerning. <laughs> uh, I'm most proud of how uh, both Francis and I grew during this project, not only with our video skills, but how we also chose a project so re relevant that we were wanting to add more to it each week, because more was happening, and we managed to, for the most part, keep up with it. Um, during this project, I learned, most importantly, um, how to manage my time efficiently by making detailed schedules that show me what I have to accomplish that day or week. I learned ways to um, uh, schedule dates and times with strangers. I also expanded my knowledge in, on today's controversy surrounding immigration, aka proof that Trump can, yes, in fact, be more of a jerk. Uh, I learned how to use the basics in Premiere Pro and how to reach out to the greater community. I've come out of this project with a new appreciation for movies and how and I know now really what goes, um, how much work goes into a film. And knowing that what we made was just a taste of filmmaking, uh, I now like uh, have a, I now appreciate films a little bit more because of how hard it is to make them. Um, so uh, we didn't get everything in our film that we wanted, but we got the interview part in, in our film, which is really what we wanted to show. Um, so I'm also proud of the amount of work that we got done and the amount of time that we had and how much effort we both put into the project to make it awesome. We uh, did a lot of planning for this project, but we had to learn to be flexible uh, because we chose a project topic that was moving so quickly we had to move with it and change stuff along the way. Um, I, can, I think I could say this for us both, that in doing this project, we have taken this thing, immigration, that wasn't really significant in our lives before and turn it into something that we'll always respect and fight for no matter the situation. Uh, thank you. You'll be able to watch our uh, film on Exponate at our booth.
you end up interviewing people at SFO or just? Oh so yeah, we interviewed a couple people who are protesting, and we uh, interviewed a couple uh, uh, lawyers there who were going to help people who were affected by this ban. Uh, so we interviewed a couple of those people, and uh, we, uh, we actually got interviewed by ourselves by uh, uh, NBC because uh, we were there and they were like filming and they just asked us like what we were doing and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah. People didn't want their faces shown, so we just recorded them. Um, and so we would just put B roll over that. B roll is just like just, uh, other film, not their face.